Hello everyone, let's do lead code 654 maximum binary tree. This question is not straightforward if you are not familiar with the concept of Cartesian tree. The Cartesian tree is an algorithm developed to uniquely build a tree from a sequence where each number in this sequence is unique so that you can search very quickly. Whenever the question is asking you the very next largest or the very next smallest through a list, it's very likely you can use monotonic stack and that is the solution here. We can iterate this array once and uh, maintaining a monotonically decreasing stack. When a new node is coming in, we always want to append it to whatever existing in the node so that they are all connected and when they are popped out we further correct the order first we create a stack the basic structure of a monotonic stack is while some condition you keep popping after pop the other value we can pop you append the new value. By this way, you can maintain a monotonic stack. Here, we want to compare the new value with the last value in the stack. As I mentioned before, when these nodes are popped out from the stack, their order need to be corrected and they need to be connected with this new node in some way because in the end, everything needed to be connected. And what is a possible connection between this current node and the popped out node? Because we are traversing from the left to the right, so we already know the this node that's being popped out has to come first, which means it has to exist on the left side compared to the current node and also because we are popping it only when the current node is bigger than this last node that means the last node will be the child of the current node then that already decided their relationship can only possibly be And a node here is just the corresponding node of the current value. You may wonder if it keeps popping, then this left child will be replaced. And that is correct. And that's what we want. In the example of this question, from 3 to 1, the new node is always smaller. So it never enters this condition. It just keeps append to this current stack and when it's popped out we do want the three to be the left child of six instead of one or two you don't need to worry two and one will be lost because they will be connected to three when they are appended to the stack and how they can be possibly appended to the last node to the stack, we can compare the last node with this current node. Again, for the example of 3 to 1, we already know the current node have to come after the last node in the stack, which means the current node has to be on the right. Also, we already know we popped out all the values smaller than the current node, so the last node left in the stack has to be bigger, which means the current node has to be the child and the last node has to be the parent. In the end, the only node can be left in the stack has to be the largest one because no one can pop out 
the largest one and that you just need to return that.